Hey guys, Reckless Rich. You're up here with another reaction video to the richest. Without further ado, let's get into this. Everyone's least favorite part of school is the dreaded exam. But if you fear flunking, sometimes creative measures must be taken. Here are some yep. shocking things students did to pass exams. Bad hygiene. In South Korea, students have been known to not shower come exam time. This is due to a superstition that says if you wash your hair before an exam, you wash all of the knowledge out. This may seem rather gross and trivial, but it is a common practice for South Korean students. And no one's going to be getting close enough to cheat, that's for sure. Calculator hacking. Usually before a math test that requires a calculator, instructors will go around the room, test out the devices, and clear any stored data so that students can't look in past archives to find the answers. However, in this day and age, with the ability to hack technology, students have been figuring out ways to hack into graphing calculators, like a TI-83, and upload programs that will restore deleted data or even upload additional notes to help them pass a test. Body Doubles in 2011, an elaborate cheating scandal was discovered in Long Island, New York, where college students were discovered taking the SATs for younger students. Oh. One adult and six minors were arrested in the cheating ring. The adult that was arrested... Well, it goes without saying that this is common with, like, a lot of schools. Did was accepting payments of up to $2,500 to take the SAT. He started this in 2009 and used fake IDs to get into the exam venues. He ended up facing felony charges and testing facilities tightened up their security. UV Pen According to an article in the Daily Mail, numerous students have been purchasing UV pens, which are only a few dollars, and using them to write answers on their arms, pants, and water bottles. In regular light, the notes will be invisible. All students need to do come exam time is shine the UV light to the area they wrote on, and their notes will appear. Think of it like writing with invisible ink and praying that the teacher doesn't notice the UV light. Rolling in the carpet. Pretty good strategy. When an anonymous college student from St. Louis, Missouri was struggling with her college course, she figured out a way to get a passing grade. She asked her 49-year-old professor for help and offered to come to his home. Needless to say, the young college student and the professor ended up rolling over. I knew this was destined to happen. What the hell is wrong with society nowadays? It's like, moving on. I, 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 no words can describe this round on his carpet, and the students' grades magically improved. Their affair continued, but unfortunately for the student, old professor made her continue the romp, or he wouldn't give her a passing final grade. Yep. Tampons and pencils. Come exam time, there are many things that aren't allowed in the examination room, like cell phones and other electronics. Several women have come forward to various publications and confessed that they have written notes and test answers on tampons, one of the few items allowed to be on hand with a student in the test room. Other variations of this is slicing a pencil in half, writing the answers on mailing labels, and sticking them inside the pencil, then flipping them open when the teacher isn't looking. Super Pass. In Hong Kong, China, there is a series of activities called Ging Guo or Super Pass that students will participate in around a month before exam time. It starts at a Chinese restaurant where students will eat a dish consisting of pork cubes and <coughs> cashews. Cashews are especially important because it sounds like wish to pass in Chinese. Then each student will have a turn at trying to slice a roast pig in half. If the student is successful at slicing the sacrificial offering, it's believed they will pass. Finally, the students will eat kiwis because the Chinese name for the fruit sounds like easy to pass exams. Smart cameras. This story sounds like it's straight from a spy movie. Students in Thailand were caught taking photos of exam questions with smart cameras in their eyeglasses. The photos would then be sent to an unknown person who would then research the answer and send it back to the student's smartwatch. Other students around the world have tried the same technique, but some were caught because they forgot to silence their watches when the exam started. Cheating for a visa. 
In 2015, the United States Department of Justice intervened after 15 Chinese individuals took exams such as the SATs and the test of English as a foreign language while posing as other Chinese individuals still in China. Each student was paid up to $6,000 and sent false passports with the names of the other students in China and inserted their photos. The reason behind this was that the students still in China wanted to study and go to college in the United States so they could get a visa. The scheme took place between 2011 and 2015. The situation went from an academic issue to an immigration issue really quickly. Boycott Peter Frolic was a professor at Johns Hopkins University and he was well known for grading on a curve. Whatever student got the highest score, their score would be considered an A, and so on and so forth. At the end of the fall term, students in Frolic's classes collectively decided to boycott the final so that the highest score would be zero. The boycott worked, and all of the students passed their final with an A. Frolic altered his grading policy after the incident. Fun story, actually. Um, I explained this briefly in a, in a separate video, but let me explain. I actually did, I did something to cheat on a test, I remember. Um, if you didn't see the video, let me explain really quick. Uh, it was in tw 2012, I believe, and I was in my, um, my science class, and it was me and, like, about seven or eight other people. Me and about seven other people. And the way we did this was, um, one of my friends, well, my former friends, um, got a paper from her, from her friend that had that teacher in a different period. I had it for fourth period, so she got it from her with all the answers on it. So we had, we passed it. Like, she would copy off of it and pass it to me. I get all the answers and I pass it to somebody else and then so on and so on. Surprisingly though, not everyone knew about that except for us. And we never got caught. Never got caught. You know, it's simple as that. The one that really hit me was friggin... Yeah, I mean, it, this just goes to show that some people will do anything. And I mean anything to pass a damn exam. The boycotting one was kind of... Dang, you gotta hand it to those kids for boycotting the class. But yeah, yeah, that's where I have this little video up. Another reaction to the richest. Um, again... Um, recently subscribed to their channel, so uh, I'll have a few more reaction videos to them. Link to the official video will be in the description. Let's wrap this video up, guys. Uh, <sighs> so as always, hit the notification button, like, comment, subscribe. So then, Reckless Rich, <laughs> signing out.